It's a push me pull you from many angles. There are graphical limits and considerations for the machines that we want to get the game running on. Can't have that sort of polygon count, other people will cry like girls. Then there is the, we might need to cross-platform it, don't go mad. And then, after those graphical considerations, there is the high ideals. Mark Jacobs sets a very high bar for us and then whips us like mules. Greg Grimsby, our art director, is a very proud and opinionated man and doesn't want to give an inch. He wants everything to look brilliant. He wants everything to get gasps of awe from people. He wants people to go, that's fantastic. So he's a terrible taskmaster. Uh, and his people basically hate him and fear him. But it is better to be hated and feared than to be loved and ignored. After that, you have Games Workshop, of which the big beasts are Alan Merritt, who's this sort of um, super intelligent man who just knows everything about the IP, and he basically like channels everything. He opens his mouth and just raw IP understanding comes out of him. Um, he's a truly exceptional individual, and there is no other person on the planet like him. So when he comes around, we video him and record him. Because even when we put like 40 people in the room, we can't absorb all the information. And the best thing to do with Alan is give him a whiteboard. He goes mad. He's responsible for keeping us on the straight and narrow. He's also responsible for giving us latitude. He's the one who says things like, uh, we might never have identified the different sort of spell castery roles within High Elves too well. I'll just tell you what you can do. And so when we make choices, and sometimes people write on the message boards, things like everyone on this project should die, they don't know what they're doing, they're completely abusing the IP, um, those people are incorrect. In almost every case, we work directly with Alan, and we work through issues and difficulties we have, and we get his blessing before we progress. And he's been responsible for coming up with some really great stuff, which, along with Mark, has helped define the game we're trying to make. Um, lastly, there's Rick Priestley. Rick Priestley is a small, bitter, crotchety man. He also happens to be a genius. Um, he's rather difficult to get to talk to. He's all about rules, and he's all about people who aren't rubbish. As a result, he only talks to about four people in the world. Um, that's because he sets the bar very high. I think he's compensating from the fact he's very small. Um, but, you know, who am I to talk? Uh, Rick and I get on reasonably well, and he's responsible for moments of me, where you go, of course we could do that. I didn't think about doing that. Moments that make you go, excuse me, why didn't I think about that? Now, it could be that he's very clever. It could also be that he is supremely high up in Games Workshop, and when he suggests it, it can happen, whereas if I suggest it, bricks get thrown at my head. So, between limitations of hardware, the goals Mark set, Greb Grimsby, Taskmaster Extraordinaire, Alan Merritt, focus, vision, scope, understanding, a smattering of Rick Priestley, who, you know, the best you ever get out of him is, it's not bad, I suppose, um, and then, generally, just the excitement of the concept artists and the people working on the game. Put all that together, that's how the art direction gets controlled. Of course, marketing run rampant through it and take crappy screenshots and put things out at the wrong resolution and make stuff up on the fly and are in charge of editing this video, so I should shut up. But, with that exception, that's how IP is done. What's the other bit? Maintaining IP. Maintaining IP is done through a very vast, complicated licensing uh, issue. There's a man called Chris Andrus, licensing extraordinaire at Mythic, who is responsible for presenting all our stuff and getting it approved. So there's a massive approval system and there's a big bureaucracy behind it. But thankfully, with Alan and Rick and Mark and Greg working on it, lots of it goes through swimmingly except when it gets rejected, and then we rework it.